So this is the first audio cubing question I've made in a while. Obviously, I put out the High Yield Arrows PDF yesterday. I recommend checking that out. This question is very textbook, very valuable in terms of understanding pulmonary embolism, which is our diagnosis here. A woman gave birth 48 hours ago. She's been in hospital, the implication being she's been sedentary. Obviously, recent surgery, also a risk factor. And she has acute onset shortness of breath and tachycardia. This is what the US Assembly will do sometimes. They'll say, ECG shows sinus rhythm, no abnormalities, but then they'll say conveniently that the heart rate is 90, 100, 110, okay? 90 is probably a little low for pulmonary embolism, but 100 is safe, okay? Now we look at our CO2 pH bicarb. As I talked about in the high yield arrows PDF, it is very important you know that in the overwhelming majority of cases of pulmonary embolism, we have an acute respiratory alkalosis, okay? It's not an acidosis, it's an alkalosis. We are hyperventilating. We have CO2 is going to be decreased, okay? So we immediately eliminate all of the up arrows for CO2. And then we say, okay, well, would our pH be up or down in the setting of a low CO2? The answer is an up for pH, okay? And then what about bicarb? It's a normal bicarb because there's not enough time for the kidneys to alter excretion. This is a very stage zero textbook level uh, detail you need to understand for acid base that it takes a minimum of 12 to four, uh, 12 to 24 hours for the kidney to alter excretion of bicarbonate, okay? So we have a down arrow CO2, up arrow pH, no change bicarb. This is acute respiratory alkalosis. It should be noted that CO2 diffuses quickly, O2 diffuses slowly. You need healthy lung for O2 to diffuse therefore, but you can have fucked up lungs. And because CO2 diffuses quickly, insofar as you're hyperventilating, you're going to be able to get that CO2 out. That's why we have low CO2 here. Okay. It's the same thing for acute asthma attack. The arrows are exactly the same down arrow CO2, up arrow pH, no change bicarb. There's a lot we can talk about. I'm not going to make this a lengthy clip. Okay. For the sake of YouTube, but I will put out more content. Okay. So you know the deal. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.